So here she is, a 1982 John Deere 8650. So first thing we're gonna do to this tractor is uh, we are going to fully service it. We're gonna change the engine oil, all the hydraulic oil, everything. Everything that's required in the service is getting done on it. Second thing we're gonna do is redo the exhaust. The uh, exhaust is a dual wall pipe that has insulation inside of it and they get moisture in them and they rust out. It was kind of a common thing with these tractors. So we've got that ordered through John Deere. That exhaust is a little bit pricey, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, so uh, we'll do a video. Look at Wilson in the window. <laughs> Wilson, <laughs> that was funny. He put his face right in the little square win or rectangle window in the front. Nice. So uh, anyways, um, the exhaust, full service, the tires, I know it's got a couple bald ones. We are going to get four good outside ones for it. The inside tires are still relatively good. So what we're probably going to do is move the insides to the outsides and put some new tires on the insides. So uh, those are three of the major things. Um, the fourth thing is we're going to give it a good cleanup. It needs a bath, it needs degreased, and then Dad Strength's gonna wax it. In fact, he's already started on it. He's got the, he started on the front nose. So as you can see, it cleaned up real nice. I mean, you can tell the paint difference here. So the paint's probably got some potential for now. Uh, we figured eventually we will completely repaint this tractor, put all new decals on it. But for now, we're going to wax it, run it next spring, see how she works, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, these side screens, I think I'm just going to order replacement ones for it because these are the tack welds are all broke at the bottom. The sad part is this tractor spent its life outside. So, uh, I mean, it's got, it's, it's weathered is the problem. Um, We'll wax it, but the decals, there's no hope for them. Them are going to stay the color they are. You can't really wax them and make them any prettier than what they are now. Uh, so going to the back of the tractor, this tractor does have a three-point hitch with a quick hitch and a PTO. So it's not a bareback. It's got three remotes. It's got your PowerPoint plug-in for your uh, implement for lights and stuff. Um, we're going to do some light replacement lights on it, probably go with some LEDs on it. But uh, mechanically, this tractor is in awesome shape. I mean, driving at home, it, it drives like a dream. It shifts like a dream. So we'll get in the cab. I mean, I'm used to the old 8640, well, we both are, that is a little bit hard shifting. This thing is just like you definitely put it in what gear you want, stays in. You don't have to wiggle it around. But it's also practically a new tractor. So inside the cab, take a look at the hours. We got 2,978 hours. And I know the hour meter works because it was working on the way home. So one way that we can tell that those original hours, the clutch pedal, the dots on it, or tread or whatever you want to call it, they're not really worn. They're still fairly sharp. The gear shifter doesn't have a groove cut into the gear shifter itself or wore into it and everything's really tight i mean hydraulic levers are tight um our buddy jeff has already said that clean the cab all out and bring it to him and he'll put a cab kit in it so it's going to get all new cab interior and even up here you can see it's not wore off from your fingers turning the knobs that's at, on our other tractors, these are kind of like wore kind of white from turning them so much. It's got a Playboy bunny. What the hell is that? Like a coaster from a bar or something? But uh, definitely needs a cab kit and cleaned up. So we're gonna, we've are we got our work cut out for us just cleaning. But it just sat so long. That's why it's so dirty. Oh, what's it on? Oh, toolbox. But uh, we do have the clevis hitch for the drawbar or the hammer strap, whatever you want to call it. That was in the toolbox, so we got all that with it. But definitely a tractor that has a lot of potential.
but everywhere you look, it, it needs pressure washed. It's just dirty. Wilson, what do you think? Nah, he likes it. So I'm pretty excited about having an 8650 back in our fleet. Um, years ago when I worked for my cousin, or my cousins and my uncle, uh, they had an 8650 and uh, I ran that tractor a lot. Had a blade on it, had a John Deere blade on the front of it. And uh, I really, really like that tractor. I'm happy that we've got one in our collection now and gonna get to run one again. So. They're just good old workhorses. I know a lot of guys say that the old Soundguard John Deere four-wheel drives are kinda, kinda turds, but uh, I've never had a problem with one. I mean, other than regular maintenance and stuff. So I'm pretty excited to get it out, and we're gonna, we got a chisel plow bought for it that we're gonna put behind it. And then uh, we're gonna look for us another 30-foot uh, field finisher, and, uh, Try to run two field finishers this spring. So that's one thing we've been looking for. I don't know if we're gonna go with the John Deere or what we're gonna go with, but we're gonna find us another one. So the 8640, it is gonna be up for sale. It's got a little bit of a minor transmission issue, but as soon as we get that figured out, we're gonna put that tractor up for sale most likely. Uh, who knows, we might hang on to it, but uh, you just one never knows what they're gonna do. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty. I think it'll clean up. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. The cool thing about these eighty six fifties is well eighty six fifties eighty four fifties is this is actual actually one of the first tilt hoods. So this. This hood will tilt forward like the 9300 will. So it made them a little easier to work on. Decals kind of yellow look. Oh, yeah, they did a little bit. Maybe we could have it ceramic coated. <coughs> Maybe. Paint pens and recover it. Yeah. Okay, so, anyways, there's, there's the tractor. It is an 8650. Some of you guys guessed it right. Uh, some guessed an 8850 and I said, no, there's, there's no way we'd ever own an 8850 unless it was a Cummins repowered 8850. I don't want it, but, uh, we definitely did get an 8650. So, uh, look forward to watching this one this spring. If it thaws out, maybe we'll take it out and do some chisel plowing. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but, uh, we're probably, probably not going to be able to do anything till spring now because it's, it's froze pretty good. We were in a foot of frost in a couple spots the last couple days, so probably be looking at this spring before you see this tractor out in the field. But we're excited to get it out, and who knows, we might even put the grain cart behind it yeah, next fall. That would be good. It's got a PTO on it, and it shifts really nice, so who knows? Dad Strength might have a new cart tractor. Or, who knows, we might find another grain cart and run two grain carts. You wouldn't be opposed to that, would you? What is it? Oh no. Oops. That one's flat anyway. And that's why we're getting new tires for it. Because them them are junk. So Okay. So anyways, give you a little uh update on the new tractor. And uh figured I'd share it. And once we get that exhaust, we'll do a video of putting the exhaust on it. So uh that should be here next week sometime. But we had to get clamps and everything, so uh we had to basically piece it all out. I wish I knew what happened to the original one, uh, but nobody knows exactly where it's at. Well, I mean, for as far as the clamps and stuff. Oh. But it'd been nice if they would have threw the clamps and stuff in the toolbox, but they didn't, so we had to get it all new for it. So, anyways, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you all in the next one.